Hello dears, uh, today we are going to start a new series that is embryology series. As you all know embryology is a big topic but I am going to discuss here all the high yield that is asked in all the international exam especially like Indian exam, MCI, FMG exams as well as all other international exam the high yield topics we will be discussing covering in all embryology series here. So let's start. Embryology. So study of embryo, how the embryo is formed, we are going to see here in a brief manner. First of all, to have an embryo, like to have a new baby or to have a new human being, we need a process called fertilization. For to have occur fertilization, before that we need gametes. Gametes in the male is called sperm, gametes in the female is called ova. So first thing we will introduce here what is it called from the lower classes we are hearing this word gametogenesis making of gametes see gametogenesis can be two types as, you t as I said like in females it is called oogenesis in males it is called spermatogenesis so like it is start from an immature cell that is called epiblast Remember this is a question in exam from where it start? Epiblast. Epiblast will produce something called primordial germ cell. Primordial germ cell. So once again remember this is a asked question star mark. Epiblast who will produce primordial germ cell? Epiblast give rise to primordial germ cell. This can produce mother cell in female called oogonia or in males mother cell is called spermatogonia and from oogonia they will produce ova that is called oogenesis and from spermatogonia they can produce sperm that is called spermatogenesis so this, this thing we know from our lower class. So still they can ask some simple question as I told from what the primordial germ cell arise. It arise from epiblast. Now let's talk separately about spermatogenesis and oogenesis. So let's talk about spermatogenesis. So from the word only we are producing sperm. First thing you have to know here Spermatogenesis occurs at what age in a man? It starts at puberty. So remember, spermatogenesis starts at puberty. Second point you have to remember here. See, where it takes place? It takes place in the testis. As you know, spermatogenesis takes place in the testis, gonads, we have testis and ovaries. So like in the testis, which part? It takes place in seminiferous tubules this is a very important question it takes place in seminiferous tubules it's a question other question here they used to ask how many days it needs to requires to make sperm that is spermatogenesis need the duration it takes around 74 to 75 days one of the recently asked question or repeatedly asked question that is in which part of the testes the maturation of sperm occur? Remember maturation of sperm occurs in epididymis. Remember motility and maturation. Motility and maturation occurs in epididymis. Epididymis. One of the important question where the sperm get mature. Now, so remember, spermatogenesis occurs at puberty. These are the main important and CQ point. So now let's see how spermatogenesis takes place. It takes place from the mother cell, like as I told before, spermatogonia. Spermatogonia by mitosis they produce primary spermatocytes 
primary spermatocyte gradually they produce secondary spermatocyte then they produce spermatids and it will result in forming sperm making of spermatid to sperm is called a process called spermiogenesis there are two process spermiation is different this is making of sperm spermiogenesis sperm is haploid this is also haploid so here you can see it is diploid after diploid what is happening here meiosis meiosis or then it become haploid from lower class you remember from lower class mental theory and all remember there is something called independent assortment actually what is happening here primary spermatocyte is becoming secondary spermatocyte they are doing what what process the mcq important independent assortment independent assortment so remember that one, one of the question from here is from which which part or which process or which step independent assortment take place primary spermatocyte become secondary spermatocyte that process is called independent assortment remember one more question from here they will ask you one spermatocyte can produce how many sperm remember one from one sp primary spermatocyte primary spermatocyte this is primary spermatocyte can produce actually four sperm they will produce four sperms because there's a difference between oogenesis and spermatogenesis that's why i mentioned here one spermatocyte primary spermatocyte can produce four sperms in number so that's all about spermatogenesis we have to remember remember all these these are mcq point now let's go to our oogenesis so for making the embryo we form sperm we need now ova ova is produced from oogonia so let's talk about oogenesis now that is also very important oogenesis first of all you have to remember spermatogenesis was taking place at puberty oogenesis takes place prenatally even before the baby is born they are meant to make oogenesis they takes place prenatally remember it it's very important not puberty or after puberty it is prenatally now other thing it is also start from the oogonia that is a other cell they will produce primary oocyte primary oocyte make secondary oocyte this secondary oocyte they make ova what are the important question from here remember primary oocyte make secondary oocyte by meiosis 1 there is one more step here meio secondary oocyte they become ova because of meiosis 2 actually there are three two three question here remember when oogonia produce primary oocyte they are arrested what is happening here they are arrested till puberty till puberty they are arrested so remember secondary oocyte is only formed at puberty at puberty till puberty what is arrested primary oocyte is arrested there is a very important mcq here they will ask you in which cell cycle it happens it happens in meiosis 1 it happens in meiosis 1 as well as they specifically ask you which stage that is in the prophase which phase prophase 1 in prophase 1 specifically which stage diploidine stage this is a very important mcq it happens in diploidine stage meiosis 1 prophase 1 and diploidine stage that is arrested who is arrested primary oocyte they are arrested till puberty same manner secondary oocyte till formed at puberty it is also arrested till fertilization arrested till fertilization they ask you a question here till fertilization they are arrested in which phase they are arrested in metaphase 2 in meiosis 2 we have metaphase so they are arrested in metaphase 2 of cell cycle remember at the puberty they is formed but after puberty will be arrested till fertilization and only after fertilization what is formed ova will be formed this is one of the most important mcq remember all the arrest in oogenesis other thing like from one primary spermatocyte how many sperms are formed four sperms 
There's a question here from one primary oocyte, from one primary oocyte, how many ova are formed? Only one ova. Remember, ova is one in number form, but sperms are formed four in number. So we already found both sperms and ova. So like gametogenesis is done around that. So I think I have discussed all the important MCQ that is asked in all the exam. These are the main important MCQ and about spermatogenesis. So we form sperm and what? Ova. And as well as, as, in, as I told you, spermatogenesis, primary oocyte, this will be 2N and they become like haploid. Secondary oocyte will be haploid and ova will be also haploid. So this step, primary oocyte to secondary oocyte, that is also called independent assortment. Independent assortment. Primary oocyte is becoming secondary oocyte. That is also called independent assortment. So there are meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Gametogenesis itself is a reduction process, right? Meiosis means reduction. It is not equational reduction. So meiosis takes place in gonads, testis and ovary. So we have done with what? Spermatogenesis and gametogenesis. That is, sorry, oogenesis. That is gametogenesis. The first step is done. Or we introduced the gametes. Now we will go to, go to fertilization. Okay.